hurting ourselves. Nothing the defense has done has been able to actually stop us from doing what we want to do and getting things we want to get done. It's kind of just the little tweaks that we have to make for ourselves. And that's just like, you know, these first couple of games are these the things that you, you work on these things so that when you get later on in the season, all those things that you messed up and you missed at those times, you're capitalizing on now. Sounds like you're close to that. Really, everything we've seen, like watching film, like we're close on a lot of things, we're close on a lot of deep balls, close on a lot of runs, close on, close on like, I would say everything we went through, we can see that we're really close to actually making the plays that we want to make and doing them how we want them to be done. Western Michigan defensively, what, what do you kind of see? Oh, they got a lot of crazy stuff. They got a lot of pressure. Uh, we, like Coach Copeland was saying, it's like, kind of like Star Wars. You don't know what you're going to get out there. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, and they're sound with what they do. They, they discipline what they do. So it's going to be definitely a good, a good game, a good task. And uh, we just got to uh, take advantage of the opportunities we have. When you say crazy things, is it more just crazy blitz schemes slants by the defensive line? Dis define crazy, I guess. Uh, they blitz a lot, yeah. And they play like different coverages, like the tilt two coverage. You can have the whole, you can have the safety come from the left side all the way to the right side to play cover two. Stuff that we that we don't really see normally. Um, probably won't see this defense again throughout any other teams we play. So it's definitely like more defined to how Western Michigan wants to play. And um, yeah, we probably won't see that defense again. So it's just crazy for our eyes to see. And, yeah. When you talk about you guys being close on offense, how do you get over the hump? Is it is it just reps? Is it watching film more time? Like how 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 can you kind of close that gap? Yeah, that's all reps. You just gotta keep doing it to be able to do it successfully. Um, trial and error. You're gonna do it, mess it up maybe, and then as you keep going, as you keep getting the shots, as you keep getting the runs going, and all those things start to click slowly but surely. When it when it's kind of like baby steps and uh, reps and stuff. Is it hard to stay focused and not want instant success with an offense right away? You know, it's a, it's kind of a slow process to get there. No, you gotta stay focused all the time. This is our job. We're out here, and it's what we have to do. So, if your mind's anywhere else but the game and handling that situation, when you're supposed to be handling that situation, and you're not bought into the situation at all, so we're all just focused on doing our job at all points, no matter if it's going slow, if it's going fast, just bought into the situation. The outside world may not see it, but do you see? the improvement uh, on a weekly basis from the offset, offense? Have you seen it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I've seen us moving the ball, and I see places where we almost had the big shot that mm -hmm. every, all the fans and all the people want to see, like the big deep balls or the big runs. And we see it on film. We're like, we're this close to doing it. So we just know as time goes on and how we keep progressing, we keep getting the practice reps, and we keep finding the, uh, the, like, the little details will get what we want to happen. Has Cade bought you dinner yet? He said he owes you one after he <laughs> missed you on that go route. He didn't buy me dinner yet, but I'm making sure he will get me that dinner. I'm gonna run that tab up a little bit on so, yeah. him. You, you guys are 2-0, and so yep. you haven't lost, but Got to feel that you, and as a full team, that there's lots of room for improvement still. Oh, yeah, definitely room for improvement. Every week there's room for improvement. We're happy to be 2-0. That's the thing. We want to win every uh, every game. And um, so we're definitely happy to be 2-0. But we know there's a lot more we can do and a lot more we're going to show as we keep going.